welcome back to my channel. My name is Xenia Chopra and today's makeup look I have created using the newly launched Huda Beauty's Nude Eyeshadow Palette. What can I say about this palette? It is absolutely gorgeous. The shades are like divine. Nothing like I've ever seen in any other eyeshadow palette and the pigment Oh my God, the pigment is to die for. And I'm so happy with the way this makeup looks has turned out. If you guys like this makeup look as well and you wanna find out how to recreate it, then please keep watching. But before I jump into today's tutorial, you guys know what to do, right? Please remember to subscribe to my channel. The links are all down below in the info box. And yes, while you're at it, why not hit that notification bell as well? so you don't miss out on any future videos that I do, right? We don't want to do that. Anyways, now I'm going to keep quiet and just move straight on to today's tutorial. The first thing we're going to do today is start by applying this Farsali's Rose Gold Elixir. I absolutely love applying this rose gold elixir as a primer because it ensures that my skin is nourished with moisture, leaving my skin looking brighter and healthier. And it would also create a beautiful, luminous and flawless base for my foundation. For the foundation today, I am using this Urban Decay's All Nighter Foundation in the shade 8.0. And I'm just taking a few pumps of the foundation on the back of my hand and then using my fingers, I'm patting it all over my face. Then I'm just applying this foundation using a damp beauty blender and making sure it's nice and blended into my skin. Something that I've just started doing very recently is also go in with the foundation brush by Studio TM which is available in Superdrug and I really just like to buff the foundation in and make sure it's looking absolutely seamless. Right let's move on to the eyes now as you can see I've already done my eyebrows and also prepped my lids with an eyeshadow primer and now I'm going to go in with the newly launched Huda Beauty's new nude eyeshadow palette and the first shade I'm going to use is called Bear and I'm picking it up on a Morphe Y15 brush and really applying it all over my lid. For the next shade, I'm picking up the shade called Lace on a Morphe M330 brush and I'm just applying this as the transition shade all over my crease. And guys, this shade was so pigmented, I literally had to dip my brush in the pan just once and look at that color payoff. So here, all I'm doing is just packing up the shade all along my crease to really get the deep transition shade going. To build up the intensity of this shade, I'm first going in a back and forth windscreen wiper motions, and then to blend the shade, I'm going around and round in circular motions to make the shade look nice, seamless, and well blended. Next, I'm picking up the shade called Tickle on the same Morphe M33 brush, sorry, M330 brush, and again, just really deepening up and intensifying my crease and also bringing it towards the outer corners of my eyes. And like before, I'm going in round and round circular motions to not only pack the color, but also really blend them and make the eyeshadow look absolutely seamless. Next, it's time to deepen up that crease shade and also the outer corners. And to do that, I'm picking up this gorgeous shade called Spanked on a Morphe M507 brush and follow the usual pattern. So I'm first going in and patting the shade onto my crease and also the outer corners and then going in round and round circular motions to make sure that the color is nice and blended. And I'm going to keep doing this and repeating this pattern till I'm happy with the level of the intensity of the shade. I really want to intensify the outer corners and my crease. So I'm going into the shade called Love Bite, picking it up on the same Morphe M507 brush and really going at it with the crease. I'm just going to keep building up this shade again till I'm happy with the level of the color that is there and also bring it out towards the outer corners and really deepen up that outer V. 
So for today's eye makeup look, we're going to be doing a half cut crease eye look. And to do that, I really want a clean canvas before going in with any of the beautiful shimmer shades from this palette. So what I'm doing here is a picking up a cotton tip and adding some makeup remover on it and just wiping off any excess product that's on my lid to get that beautiful clean canvas. Then going back in with my Makeup Revolutions Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade 0.5. I'm applying this to the empty lid space to create a really nice clean base for the next shadows we're going to go in with. And I'm going to use my finger to diffuse the edges of the concealer. And now I'm just going to be setting this with the shade called Bare to ensure that the base isn't sticky and the next shadows that we apply will blend nicely. Before we go in to play with the rest of the eyeshadows, I want to show you these colors. Oh my God, this is Crave, Fantasy, Daydream and Charmed. And look at that pigment, you guys. How beautiful are these colors? So I decided to go in with this multi-reflective shadow called Daydream. And I've picked this up on my finger and I'm applying it to the area where there's absolutely no color at all. And then I'm going to pick the same shade up on a Morphe M170 quarter brush just to make sure that it hits the corners of my eyes. Going back into that Love Bite shade again and picking it up on a Morphe M507 brush, I'm just packing this eyeshadow onto the edge of the shimmer shade to create a really nice blend between the shimmer shades and the matte shade. Right, let's move on to the lashes now. And for the lashes, I'm using my ever so favorite mascara, Bad Girl Bang Mascara by Benefit and I'm just coating my top lashes with this mascara before going in with these lashes which are by Kenzie K Cosmetics and they are in the style called Shy Girl. And I have to say I am absolutely obsessed and smitten with these gorgeous lashes. Moving on to the concealer, I'm using my new favorite concealer which is the Huda Beauty's Overachiever Concealer in the shade 12G or Sugar Biscuit. And I'm applying this towards the um, under eye area where I have a lot of grays and darkness, but also onto the tip of my chin, which is where I tend to break out and get acne, towards the sides of my mouth and also onto the center of my forehead as well. Then I'm taking the Huda Beauty's Conceal and Blend Brush and I'm concealing or blending the concealer onto my skin. So I'm first using the pointy tip of the brush and then going in with the fluffy side and blending it in as well. Right, it's time to bake our face. And to do that, I'm trying out the new Huda Beauty brush, the Bake and Blend brush. So first I'm taking the uh, tapered side of this brush and picking up the banana bread powder and applying it exactly where we've applied the concealer under my eyes. If you guys know me, I only like to bake under my eye area, nowhere else. So that's what I'm going to do today too. And then I'm going to let it sit there for about five minutes before dusting it off. And for the contour, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer again, but this time in the shade 22G or Hazelnut. And I'm going to apply this all along my cheekbones, also all along my hairline. And then taking the Zoeva's 109 Face Paint Brush, I'm just using this brush to blend in this cream contour. I have to tell you guys that I absolutely love using this concealer as a contour because it really helps define my face, you know, my hairline and particularly my cheekbones. It's been about five minutes now since I applied the baking powder. So I'm using the other end of the bake and blend brush and I'm just dusting off any excess powder that's under my eyes. Well, we've contoured everything else, so let's not forget the nose. And to contour my nose, I like to use my Marc Jacobs bronzer in the shade Coconut Tan. And I'm applying that with a Morphe M572 brush just on the sides of my nose to give my nose that extra snatched look. 
Let's go back and finish off the eyes now and I'm dipping into the shade called Lace and picking it up on a Morphe G13 brush and just applying it onto my lower lash line. I'm going in quite thick with this color because I will go in later with a darker shade and bring it closer to my lower lash line. Next, I'm picking up the shade called Love Bite on a Morphe M507 brush and I'm applying this shade very close to my lower lash line and smudging it out as well. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going back in with the Benefits Bad Girl Bang Mascara and coating my lower lashes with this mascara. For the highlight, I am taking the Huda Beauty's Golden Sands 3D Highlight Palette and picking up the shade Fiji on my Beauty Blender and adding it to the high points of my cheeks. And as always, I added too much highlight, but hey ho, if you guys know me, that's what I love. For the blush, I decided to try out one of the eyeshadows, the shade Spanked as my blush. And the brush that I'm using to apply the blush this sounds like a rhyme, the blush and the brush. Anyways, the brush is the Heavenly Luxe French Boutique Blush Brush by It Cosmetics. But look at how beautiful this color looks as a blush on my cheeks. I love it. Yes, yet again, I forgot to highlight my inner corners and also under the brows. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm taking the shade called Charmed on a Morphe M170 quarter brush and adding this shade towards the inner corners of my eyes and also on top of my brow bone. And I think it really makes such a difference to the whole look. And finally, to finish off today's makeup look, I'm going in with two different lipsticks. The first one is the Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Lazy Daisy. Then I'm going to be topping this up with Huda Beauty's Lip Strobe in the shade snobby okay my loves this is the end of today's makeup tutorial i absolutely loved using this palette it was so beautiful the colors the pigment everything was perfect about this palette and i am so happy with the way that this makeup look turned out in fact this is something that i've never really created before so i'm very pleased with it if you guys enjoyed watching this video please remember to give this video a big thumbs up now I'm going to say goodbye and take your leave and hopefully see you all next week when I'm back with yet another makeup tutorial. Till then, you guys know what to do, right? Be good. Take care of yourselves. Miss me, well, at least a little bit. And I'll see you all next week. Mwah. Bye.